Welcome back to Tiny Grimes Games, and I'm here with game two of my first constructed cube back. If you're only here for the giveaway, go ahead and skip to the end and I'll cover it there. But as you saw in game one, I ran an Ice Grasp deck. I'm not going to go through it again. If you'd like to see this deck and see what I think about it in more detail, go ahead and click on the link below to the first game. Let's go ahead and jump in the queue. All right, looks like we have our round two opponent. I'm a little bit worried that um, people have seen what I'm up to here and everyone knows and, and, and many more people are going to be playing Ice Grasp, but I hope not. All right, so our first turn isn't too bad. Uh, we're going to get to do probably a fair amount of damage here. Um, it's interesting because the, the Flame Lance killing his Flame Blade Champion is kind of annoying, actually. Um, but oh well. And I'm going to go ahead and level a uh, Crush here. Getting a free Crush on player level 2 could be really strong. An Ice Grasp there would have been just beautiful. Alright, there we go. We got an Ice Grasp and a Stasis Warden, so that's a really good turn. Uh, we should be able to lock down his best card. If he plays another Flame Blade Champion, we can lock that down. Ice Grass. Kind of get the ball rolling now. We have seen one Crush. We're hoping to see another one. Ooh. Ooh, he's going to be... He's going to be really frustrating to deal with, isn't he? Oh, my. Yeah, so that could be a big problem. Um, not having a way to handle him might cause some serious issues for us. Um, yeah. That could be a big problem. So, essentially, he might be able to play stuff where um, he's able to give, you know, a, a Flame Blade Champion aggressive and then just kill the Stasis Warden right off. I was a little bit tempted to just stick him in front of there and um, hit Ator. Might have been right, I don't know. This isn't bad. At least I'm going to get three spells. I'll be able to kill Ator. I'll be able to kill a Flame Blade Champion if he plays it. Uh, and then I'll be able to shock as well. And if he doesn't get something that kills the Stasis Warden, which is unlikely, yeah, um, I probably would have played Edict. Ooh. Oh, jeez. That's horrible. <laughs> That's a real problem. We're now taking 20 more from this champion before we can deal with him. This one could get away from us. Uh, definitely a worrisome beginning. Let's see if we can... Turn it around. We've only got one grasp. These spells aren't doing that much. Uh, this is one of those games where we need something to happen. Mm, boy, this is a tough spot because we're almost assuredly going to have to not play a grasp here to be able to kill the champion because we can't take you know 20 every turn. He needs to have a pretty bad uh, play here. And if he keeps buffing that champion, we may not be able to kill it. Oh, the Ator is huge. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> okay. I think we lose this one, people. I think we lost to an Ator deck. That is um, surprising, to say the least. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, so now the question becomes, do we level the dragon... Or do we play the two spells to kill the champion? Um, I'm not really sure what the answer here is. We can't play Grasp, unfortunately. Because we just have no way to kill the champion. We would lose. So we're, we're looking at either Dragon plus Spell. I think Dragon plus Shatterbolt is probably the way to go. Uh, that way, I still have Burnout hanging around the deck. It's one more spell. And we've leveled two cards. So we're going to go that route. But boy, that's tough. That's hard cheese right there. What makes it so hard is that he got Ator. If if he hadn't got Ator and he had played something different, uh, we might have been okay. Ooh, and again the Edict with no dudes. Oh, man. So we're going to be able to Flame Lance the Ator. But if he puts down two monsters here, it's, it's, it's done. Oh, man, I don't even know what I wanted to play. I, I don't think there's anything that could save me. Maybe a spell to the face would save me. So that's 12. <laughs> no, okay, that's 24. Oh, we lost. Oh, wow. What a quick end to this one. Um, let's see, what are our options here? 
if we went Flame Lance Shatterbolt on the Lasher, the problem is the Ator is just gonna womp us. I don't so I think what we actually have to do is leave the Lasher alone. Take the twenty four and hope. I don't think I don't think there's any chance we win this game. The only way we could win is something like a Stasis Warden into an Edict. He wouldn't be able to buff here. Um, he can't play an Ator. Like, there's so many ways we would just lose. And we didn't get what we needed. So, we can go, um, I believe Spark Shock will kill him. Yeah, so Spark Shock kills him. But he has to play two terrible creatures. One to die to Flame Lance and one to do less than six damage. So, seems unlikely. It seems like we've got uh, the fastest game in recorded Soul Forge history. Oh, and that's not so bad, except for the fact that we can't kill him. Oh, and that roar is really good. Okay, so we lose. <laughs> Simple as that, we lose. Let's just make sure Flame Lance still only does seven, so... I mean, we can kill him, that's fine and dandy, but we just lost to the Flame Blade Champion. Let's see, anything we can do with face damage, we're going to get six, so it would be... 6, 12, 18, plus 26, plus 28, 35. We can only get him down to 32. So, yep, he got us. I'm so um, adamant about not giving up here, apparently. <laughs> I will never give in. Ah, oh, boy. What a whooping. I don't know if this is supposed to be a counter to this deck or not. kind of seems like it is because of the Stasis Warden's die. Um pretty easily to this deck. So we're just going to go face. Boom. 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 All right. There you go. Game two is in the books. Tiny Grimes went down. So the question is now, what will my record be? Will I slip to two and two? Will I go to one and three? Or will I come all the way back and go three and one? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, if you're only here for the giveaway, that's fine. Uh, so go ahead and put a comment in uh, on this video. Perhaps give a prediction of your own of how I'm going to do. And uh, I will do a giveaway based on um, who makes a comment. And you do have to be a subscriber as well. You can unsubscribe afterwards. Don't worry. It's not a permanent situation. And I'll do a giveaway for this, we'll say, on um, Friday night at midnight. Uh, the last giveaway has been rolled off. I'm waiting for confirmation from the person that they want to give away uh, and then I'll announce who got it. Alright, so I'll see you next time on Tiny Grimes Games and hopefully I won't get whooped.